Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Carla if you're new here or you've never seen my face and I make videos about showing up for yourself. And by showing up for yourself, I helped myself to lose 183 pounds. I used to be 23 stone or 323.8 pounds. And now I live happily in the 140s somewhere along the way. I have made a full video about how I've lost weight and actually a full series, which I'll leave up here in the corner. If you've never seen me before, or you'd like to know more about my journey. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you five habits that I changed in order to help me to lose weight. So I ended up at 323.8 pounds for a number, a myriad of different reasons. They included my food addiction, the unhealed trauma that I had and that I used food to escape my feelings. However, down at the nitty gritty, down at the base level, I had created habits around food that had led me to being morbidly obese. These were habits that I were not necessarily distinctive and connected to the reasoning as to why I was overweight, to my trauma and to my mental health issues, but they were like the gym, like the real just basic on the ground things that I did that led me to be overweight and led me to continue to be overweight. And just as an aside here, I also I like to add in, while we talk about being overweight, I was 323.8 pounds, but I know had I continued with these habits, my weight would have continued to rise. I'm really glad that I had an intervention uh, in terms of my mental health, uh, not like an external intervention, but I sought counseling and I also did the Body Slims program, which helped me to lose weight. So I'll leave videos about those up here as well if you'd like to, to learn more. But I know that I would never have, I wouldn't have stopped, you know, at 323.8 pounds. I would have ended up continuing to increase my weight constantly. And I think that's something that, I don't know whether it's really relevant, but I just wanted to say that, that I think that if I, those habits would have continued as I went on. And so what I thought I'd do with you now is share the five, five of the habits that I changed. There are so, so, so many habits that I changed in order to help me to lose weight and to make lasting, sustainable changes in my life. That's how I know by changing these habits, that I will never put that weight back on again. I've dealt with my mental health issues. It's a continuing journey, but specifically around food. And I've changed these habits. I no longer need food as a coping mechanism. I no longer need food to escape my body. However, these habits, by changing these habits, I know that I no longer have to worry about putting weight back on again. And I'm happily living in maintenance now for, well, six months, six, seven months. I'm given, yeah, seven months now, I've been living in the same way. So let's get into it, guys. The very first habit that I changed was I stopped trying to be perfect and met myself where I was. I am a perfectionist and by a perfectionist, I don't always mean it in a positive thing. Sometimes I think we use perfectionism as an excuse. If we can't do it perfectly, we're not going to do it all. I think a lot of that is to do with fear as well. For me, anyway, I'm not saying about anybody else. And please remember that all of this is, is my story. I'm not a therapist. I'm not a professional. I'm just sharing my words with you and hope that they resonate. But I know that for myself that I have perfectionism tendencies. And with that comes this ideal that if I don't do something perfectly, I'm not going to do it at all. And so for take this into a very specific example, I might previously, a habit that I would have had is that if I couldn't be, you know, the fastest at something, then I wasn't going to do it. So for walking as a huge part of my weight loss journey and the only exercise that I did was walking. And if I wasn't able to be perfect at walking, so whatever perfect might be, you know, in my weird mind might be, I wasn't going to do it. So therefore I wasn't going to do anything at all. Uh, say I previously, what might've happened is I might've walked, you know, three kilometers in an hour uh, on a previous weight loss journey. And uh, about three weeks into it, I wasn't feeling great or I'd be tired and, you know, or I might have a little bit of an injury or something. And I'd be like, okay, well I can't, 
you know, I, I can't walk. I'm only going to be able to do two kilometers in the hour or something like that. And therefore that's not perfect. And I'm not even going to bother trying. And that's something that I stopped doing. Instead, I started to meet myself where I was on that day. And that is a huge habit change. And I think it's a lot to do with compassion and kindness to ourselves. Instead of berating myself and being like, well, you're like, you can't walk. So like, you know, that's, that's it. Like there's no point in doing anything that would throw everything like off the track. You know, I'd be like, oh, I'm not going to like, I'm not going to count calories today. I'm not going to drink my water. I'm going to just eat whatever because I wasn't perfect in one area. And I stopped doing that. I stopped allowing myself to use perfectionism as an excuse. Instead, I met myself where I was. So take, for example, you know, like during my weight loss journey, um, I, there might be a time where I've been really tired, work had been really stressful, and I was finding very, very difficult to get up to walk. Instead of waking up uh, a half an hour later and realizing, my gosh, I only now have 45 minutes before I start work, I'll only get a half an hour in, there's no point. I would take that time and go, okay, that's where I am today. I'm gonna take that half an hour and I'm gonna still do my best that I can because that's today and tomorrow I'll strive for my hour. I hope that makes sense. But basically it's stopping using perfectionism as an excuse to not do everything else. You know, not to, if you can't get this perfect, then I'm not gonna do it. You know, if you go over your calories by 100 calories, 200, 300 calories, not saying, okay, well then there's no point in doing anything else. It's allowing that ripple effect and um, basically throwing the baby out with the bath water and coming back to yourself and being like, no, no, okay, I can't do that. I, that happened today, you know, that's okay, that's fine. Self-compassion, self-kindness, and going, okay, tomorrow, let's see what happens. So that's my first habit that I changed. The next four habits that I have are very specific to food and to basic meal times, and some of these might resonate with some of you. My first one was eating everything on the plate. This was a habit that I had formed, and I think many of us have this habit because probably as children we were taught that we had to eat everything on the plate, or we feel that it's food wastage, or we feel, you know, that it's, we want to eat everything on the plate. Instead, I started to learn to be okay to leave food on the plate. Our portion sizes, especially if we go out to restaurants and things like that, can be absolutely massive. We typically don't need the amount of food that we are served in a restaurant and I started to be okay to leave food on my plate. Now I live by the principle of eating till satisfied. So I'm ensuring that I'm grounded in my body, that I can feel my feet, that I'm conscious when I'm eating, I'm enjoying myself with friends, family, whatever it might be, I'm enjoying my food and when I feel that I'm satiated, that I've had enough, I'm okay to put my knife and fork down and go, I've had enough now. If you feel that that's very triggering, because I did feel that as well at the start, that it was very difficult to not just eat for the sake of it, my suggestion is to clear your plates immediately, to, you know, if you're in a restaurant, to put it over to the side, to take it away from the front of you so you're not tempted to keep picking, or to, if you're at home, to clear your plate, get rid of anything off your plate. What I'm not saying as well that we should be throwing food out, especially when we're at home, we can learn then to reduce our portion sizes when we're cooking so that we don't end up with food wastage. And it actually helps to save us money, it helps to save the environment as well. So reducing and being okay, reducing your food wastage as well, that will come as you start to be okay to not finish everything on your plate and start to be okay to eat smaller portions. I found it difficult at the start, but I learned to be okay with it. And then now it is second nature to me. And these things all take time. It doesn't matter, you know, like if you start day one and you're like, I can't leave something on the plate, that's okay. Maybe reducing the portion down so you are still okay to eat everything on the plate might be a good way to, to challenge that. But being okay to not eat everything on the plate really helped me, especially when going out to eat. The third habit that I stopped doing to help me lose 183 pounds was that I stopped leaving the best till last when eating. Instead, I ate the thing that I was most looking forward to first and then the rest afterwards. So I used to do this all the time, especially say, for example, you are, 
like you have meat and veg. Let's just take that as an example. I would, I'm a vegan now, but like previously I would have eaten, you know, all the veg first to leave the delicious like steak or whatever to the, till the end. And then, you know, be overfilled at the end. Now I eat the best first, enjoy it and savor it and then eat the rest afterwards. So that, and then I can kind of go, okay, no, I don't actually need that extra fry. I don't need that extra whatever it might be. So eating the best first, as opposed to eating the best last. The fourth habit that I changed was I stopped telling myself that this won't be enough when I'm when I have a plate in front of me. Instead, I started to just see how I get on. So, for example, I am feeding myself the portion on body slims that, you know, I've calorie counted and allowed for myself for that meal. And I look at it and I go, previously I would have gone, that's not enough food for me. So automatically I'm telling myself that that is not enough food. Whereas actually I have not even tried it yet. I don't know how satiated I'm going to be. I don't know what that's going to feel like inside my stomach, how satisfied I'm going to be. And so I stopped doing that. I realized that I'm basically like filling this narrative that this isn't enough, this isn't enough. And that comes back to my food addiction. So I stopped doing that. I was like, okay, I hear you, but I'm just gonna try this first. You know, like hearing that, blocking out that, that voice going, okay, no, we're gonna let Bruno, is that what it's called in, um, in Luca, is that the name of the? Anyway, uh, Bruno is the voice in your head, Bruno. Uh, stopping that and going, okay, no, I'm gonna try this and see how I feel. And if I want more afterwards, then that's okay. Um, probably nine times out of 10, I was satisfied with what was on the plate. So stopping that narrative in our head. And then the fifth thing and the, the last thing is that I stopped automatically saying yes to dessert. So a habit that my partner and I had after we would eat is we would go instantly and have some kind of dessert afterwards. Even if it was something healthy or, you know, low in calories and it was in my calorie limit, I stopped automatically saying yes. So I had the habit of either having an Alpro chocolate uh, dessert afterwards or a chocolate or yogurt and fruit or something like that, or even low calorie ice cream or whatever it might be. I had this habit of automatically going yes. Instead, I started to listen to myself and go, okay, no, do I need this or is this just a habit? So I stopped automatically doing it and just allowing myself to go hmm no I think I'm okay for a minute if I want something I'll come back to it so I'm never depriving myself so one of the ways that I helped me to lose weight is not always just eating because it's in my calorie allowance seeing that allowance as a limit not a target and by doing so I was able then to lose weight successfully which you can still lose weight if you eat within your limit that's like I'm not saying that but I, by stopping to go automatically going, I actually don't need this. I'm satisfied with what I have. So that really helped. So that made a big difference to me. Stop automatically saying yes to things that, you know, like, do you want bread with your, your soup? That's an automatic habit. You know, uh, this, this food includes this. Like I know that, you know, a lot of people in Ireland, we have to have fries with our lasagna or coleslaw with our lasagna. That's automatic. Maybe we can enjoy it without it. Maybe we don't need that. Those automatic habits, what are automatically that you're doing that you realize, actually, I don't think I need this right now. So taking those away, that really helped me. Guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave me a couple of black hearts down in the comments down below and I will be back with you. Please make sure you're following me on Instagram as well and on TikTok if you have a TikTok. Make sure you're subscribed so you turn on the notifications so you never miss a video from me and I will be back with you very shortly for more content about showing up for yourself. Thank you so much guys, bye.